Together, we're making a Mexican Caesar dressing that is exploding with fresh, vibrant flavor. But we're skipping the greasiness and making it healthier and creamy with a protein boost from cottage cheese. And you're gonna need an upright blender, food processor, or the chopper cup with an immersion blender like I have. I love using cottage cheese because of the high protein level and the really subtle cheesy flavor. Now, some people are not crazy about the curdled texture of cottage cheese, but we're gonna take care of that by blending it smooth with all of our other dressing ingredients. So we're gonna start by adding half a cup of cottage cheese. Now you can jot down the ingredients as we go along, or you can click on the link in the video description below to the recipe that has all the details. Next, we're going to add a third a cup of milk, and you can use any variety that you like. I'm using almond milk. Next, we're gonna add a fourth a cup of oil, and I recommend avocado oil or light olive oil. Next, we want to add three tablespoons of lime juice. So I found that that is equal to about two or three small limes. So I'm just gonna cut my lime in half and squeeze it right in. Now, traditional Caesar dressings typically have Parmesan cheese. Now, this is our Mexican version, and so we could use a Mexican cheese instead, but I really kind of like bringing in a little bit of that Parmesan just to give it that classic Caesar flavor. So I'm gonna add a fourth a cup of some shredded Parmesan cheese, but you could use any cheese that you like. And for extra Mexican flavor, we're going to add about a fourth a cup of some chopped cilantro leaves. And then for additional flavor, we're going to add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And you'll want to make sure that you get a gluten-free variety if you have an allergy. Next, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of either some Dijon mustard or mustard powder. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. You could also use fresh garlic if you like. A fourth a teaspoon of cumin, a fourth a teaspoon of oregano, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, and a dash of pepper. And then we'll simply put on our lid and mix it until it's well combined. Now we have this incredible dressing without any of our curdled cottage cheese texture. Now's a perfect time for a quality control pinky test. Mmm, that is so good. This is the perfect time to add a little more salt, or if you want to add a little more heat or kick to it, you could add some chili flakes or a little bit of chili powder. But I think this is delicious as is with all of those bold, vibrant flavors. And I love that it's made of clean, natural ingredients, which means I'm gonna feel just as good even after I eat it. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today to make this really delicious dressing. If you like the full recipe, there's a link in the video description below, which takes you to my website, gentletummy.com. And I also invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you know someone else who you think would love this recipe, please share this video with them. And I cannot wait to have you hang out with me again in my kitchen.